This clip will demonstrate how to change a multisensor profile, zoning and device message. To make changes to a multisensor credentials, you need to be logged in as an installer. To log into the panel as an installer, press F4 to select the main menu. Using the jog dial button, turn the dial and select a user which has the installer credentials. Now press the jog dial button to scroll down to the password option. Using the jog dial button, select the correct password for the user. To do this simply turn the jog dial button to select the correct number, and by pressing the jog dial button will move the cursor to the next digit. Now press the jog dial button or F4 to enter into the installer menu. Press the jog dial button to select field setup. Turn the jog dial button and select loop device config, then press the jog dial button. Select the loop number of the device that you want to change its credentials. For this example, I will select a device on loop number 1. Now turn the jog dial button until you find the multisensor that you want to configure, then press the jog dial button. Press F3 to select next or press the jog dial button. You can now change the detector zone by simply using the jog dial button. Pressing the button will move the cursor one step over to the right. For this example, I will change my multisensor from zone number 1 to zone number 2. Once you have finished changing the zone, press F3 to select next or press the jog dial button to move the cursor to the daytime profile setting. For a multisensor, there are 27 possible settings. Here are the possible settings for a multisensor. Profile number 1 is a smoke-only profile and is the most sensitive smoke option. Profile number 4 is a smoke-only profile and is the least sensitive smoke option. Profiles numbers 5 to 8 are heat-only options. The profiles 9 to 27 will activate in a fire condition with either smoke or heat. For this example, I will change my day profile settings to 22. Once you have finished changing the device day profile settings, press F3 to select next or press the jog dial button to move the cursor to the night profile setting. Now you can change your nighttime device profile setting using the same method again. Once you have finished changing the device night profile settings, press F3 twice to select next or press the jog dial button twice to move the cursor to the device message. Now you can change the device message by using the jog dial button. Pressing the button will move the cursor one step over to the right. Once you have finished changing your device message, press F4 to select enter, then press F1 to select back. Now to complete the process, simply press F2 to select exit and now press F3 to apply your new configuration.